everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Devin and in this video, I am going to make the case as to why I believe Airbus is the dominant force in the helicopter industry right now. Now, don't get it twisted. I am not saying that they are perfect and that no other helicopter company builds a great aircraft. They are definitely not the best at everything. But when you zoom out and you look at a big picture of the helicopter market, you take a look at what is flying currently, where it's flying, what it's doing, and who's flying it it is pretty clear that airbus is not just participating in the helicopter industry they are leading the helicopter industry now let's get into it There are a ton of great companies out there. Robinson dominates the flight school and entry level helicopter ownership market. Sikorsky has a big dominance in the military market and the offshore world. Leonardo is big in VIP and civil transport. Bell is a huge player with law enforcement and utility. I love the Cabri G2 from Gimbal. They are coming up on the training side and producing an incredible product. ND leads in utility and some military platforms as well and Hill is promising to bring the helicopter world into the future. But Airbus, Airbus owns the middle. And what is in the middle is the bulk of the helicopter missions, EMS, law enforcement, offshore, utility, charter, search and rescue. If a helicopter is doing real, consistent, professional work, Airbus is almost always in the conversation. So let's break that down. Starting with their MVP, the H125, or if you've kind of been in the industry, you may have heard this as the A-Star. This helicopter is everywhere. And I don't say that lightly from heli skiing in the Rockies to wildfire bucket drops in Australia and California lifting remote repeater towers in the Andes and rescue missions in the Himalayas the H125 is a utility monster it's got super good high altitude performance reliability and versatility you can load it with external gear fly it in rough conditions land it in tight landing zones and it can swap roles in a single day it is a Swiss Army knife of the helicopter role. And the reason so many operators love it is because it is dependable. You can get parts quickly, mechanics know how to work on it, training is available all over the world, and it holds its value. Operators also trust it, and trust matters. When your business relies on helicopters being in the air and being up, you're not just buying a machine, you are buying uptime, support, and predictability. The 125 delivers all of that. It is a workhorse, plain and simple. Next up, they have the H130. This is like a a sibling to the 125 but this one leans more into comfort and passenger experience if you've ever done a helicopter tour in the Grand Canyon or Hawaii there's a pretty good chance that you were in an EC 130 or an H 130 the visibility is fantastic the cabin is quiet the ride is smooth and it was built with the passenger in mind it is still rugged enough to handle some light utility and that balance makes it perfect for the charter tour and yes the EMS world and like the 125 it is backed by Airbus's global support network. You're typically not going to have to wait months for parts or scramble to find a technician. That means less downtime, fewer headaches, and more time making money. Now let's talk about the twins, starting with the H-135. This helicopter is basically synonymous with the EMS world. This is used super heavily in urban environments. It's got a finished run tail rotor, a very compact footprint, great visibility, and a super strong safety record. It's ideal for landing on hospital rooftops, navigating cityscapes and operating in tight landing zones. Police departments use it for aerial surveillance. VIPs love to fly in it. And it's just an incredibly versatile platform. And then you have the 145. This is like the bigger brother to the 135. It's like the 135 on steroids. Bigger cabin, higher payload, more power. It is the go-to for EMS agencies that need to haul multiple patients, a lot of medical gear, and a very large crew. It's also popular with search and rescue teams, offshore transport, and it is used extensively in the military as well. And Airbus isn't just pumping these out without listening. When customers said that the 145 felt too big and the 135 was underpowered, what did they do? 
they came up with the H140. It is that sweet spot right in the middle. Perfect size, great performance, great efficiency. That is true responsiveness from a company. That's rare. Airbus doesn't just sell helicopters. They listen to the feedback and they evolve the product line for what is used in the real world. And at the top of their civil line is the H160. This is their newest platform. I think it's beautiful. It is sleek, high tech. It's got advanced avionics. It's got health and usage monitoring systems and it is built for the 21st century. It's very modern. It lowers the pilot workload, increases the safety margins, and it has great efficiency. Airbus took their time rolling this out. They brought customers in during development and they kept refining along the way. That is very methodical and it builds confidence from operators. Now let's contrast that with some of the competitors. Bell is very strong, especially in America. The Bell 407, I have flown it. I love that helicopter. It is super smooth. It is super fast. It's agile. It's great for utility tours law enforcement, but it just simply does not match the global dominance of the H125. The 429 is also great, but it just has not had the same adoption as the 135 or the 145. The Bell 525 is still crawling through certification and it just hasn't really hit its stride yet. Bell makes great helicopters. They just have not grown in dominance like Airbus. Leonardo also builds really great helicopters. They are typically fast, very high performance machines. The AW109 is great. I currently fly the 119 these are both super sharp the 139 is fast and sharp and excellent but I'll be honest some operators struggle with parts availability the training capabilities are just not the same as what Airbus has then you have Sikorsky they are a monster especially when it comes to the military the Blackhawk the s92 they are built like tanks and they serve very critical roles but Sikorsky doesn't really play a role in the light or medium space at the time right now especially since the Sikorsky S76 stopped production. That leaves a big gap and that is where Airbus thrives. Sikorsky is great at what they do, but they are really not a competitor in the same space that Airbus dominates. And then you have like MD helicopters. The MD500 is legendary, great for law enforcement, military, utility work. It is fast, nimble, rugged. I love that helicopter. But MD's recent struggle with ownership changes, production delays, and support issues, that has definitely held them back. Their civilian footprint is small. Outside of utility work and a couple tours, they're really not used that much. But once you need a larger, more capable helicopter, you're probably looking at Airbus. So why does Airbus win? Simple, they build more than helicopters. They build a system, a global network of of training centers, maintenance hubs, logistic pipelines, and operator support, and they continue the evolution on the platforms that are working. If you're an EMS provider, a tour company, or a utility operator, Airbus makes it so easy to say yes. You can train your pilots, you can train mechanics who already know the platform, you can get parts very fast, and it's not just that convenience, there is cost savings, risk reduction, and operational confidence that comes with the Airbus name. All of that leads to their present day dominance. And this is so profound that EMS operators in Europe default to Airbus. It's why utility companies in South America pick the H125. It's why tour operators in Hawaii in the Grand Canyon in Las Vegas go to the H130. That's why the military goes to the H145. That's why they are constantly selling more and more 135s and 140s to EMS operators in America. They have built a brand that isn't just known, it is trusted. That trust isn't bought with ad campaigns. It is earned with years of uptime, safety, and partnership, and trust, and reliability. That is why I say Airbus is the king. Not because of hype, not because I fly one. I don't. I don't fly an Airbus product right now. But because across every major mission type, utility, tours, EMS, search and rescue, offshore, training, all of it, Airbus has a machine that fits in perfectly. And not just a machine, a system that keeps it flying. So thank you for sticking around. If you fly something different or you have a different opinion drop it in the comments below i read all of the things you guys post all the comments i read them so let me know what your thoughts are down below i'm devin thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one